In the previous video, we discussed about the top 8 vaccines in the world for COVID-19. Now, in this video, we will be discussing about the Sputnik V vaccine. It incorporates a method what we call as heterologous prime boost vaccination, which in simple terms means using two different vectors during two doses of vaccination. First, let's see what type of vaccine is the Sputnik V vaccine. This is adenovirus viral type vaccine. It uses two different human adenoviruses as vectors. This vaccine is developed by Gamalia Research Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology in Russia. Furthermore, when we talk about its efficacy, this Sputnik V vaccine shows efficacy of 91.6% as reported in research present on the Lancet. The Sputnik V vaccine is administrated in two doses, 21 days apart. The first dose efficacy ranges between 70 to 80%. Although Gamelia Institute claims its first dose efficacy around 79.4%. Whereas after second dose of Sputnik V vaccine, the efficacy shoots up to 91.6%. That means Sputnik V vaccine is quite promising even after its first dose only. That's why some countries have gone for single dose only, referred as Sputnik V light vaccine. Now let's focus upon the type of vaccine. It's adenovirus viral vector type vaccine which incorporates a DNA in it. It has a genetic material in the form of double strand DNA. It uses recombinant human adenovirus. And in this type of vaccine, we use two types of adenoviruses. Type 26 or serotype 26 and type 5 adenovirus. The type 26 is referred as RAD26. That's recombinant adenovirus 26 and type 5 is referred as RAD5 that is recombinant adenovirus type 5 virus. The RAD26 as a vector is used in its first dose whereas RAD5 as a vector is used in its second dose of administration. That's why it's termed as heterologous prime boost as it uses two different vectors for the same antigen. Since both vectors carry gene for SARS-CoV-2 glycoprotein S, aka spike protein. Now let's see the mechanism of heterologous prime boost vaccination. In order to understand the heterologous prime boost vaccination, we will draw an analogy of heterologous with homologous prime boost. Here we see on the left we will be having the homologous prime boost vaccination, and on the right we will be having the heterologous prime boost vaccination. We see in homologous prime boost, the first dose involves the vector 1 by the name of CHADOX1 and it is the chimpanzee adenovirus. Whereas on the right we have the vector 1 that is RAD26, the recombinant human adenovirus type 26. So after administration of first dose, we get the immune response against vector and its components. Then we see the vector is taken up by the cell and the gene of interest is first of all transcripted and then translated by the host cell into the protein which is the S protein and finally we get the immune response against the S protein of SARS-CoV-2 which we actually want here and finally after all these events we get the priming of our immune system then after that we have the booster immunization in the form of second dose in homologous prime boost, we have the same vector 1 as CHADOX1 for the second dose also. Whereas in heterologous prime boost, we have the different vector here, vector 2 by the name of RAD5 or we can say human adenovirus type 5. So the left one, while we use the same vector for both of the doses, is the example of AstraZeneca vaccine. Whereas on the right, we use two different vectors, RAD26 and RAD5. And this is the example of Sputnik V vaccine. Now, what benefit we get from heterologous prime boost than the homologous one? In homologous prime boost, we have the elimination of vector by immune response induced against vector 1 by priming. And also we see we have the same immune response during the second dose and we also see there is a standard efficacy of the second dose also. Whereas in the heterologous prime boost vaccination program, 
there is no interference by immune response induced against the vector 1 by priming because we use different vector here during second dose so for our immune system when we get the second dose from different vector this is new and our immune system cannot recognize it as our immune system is primed for vector 1 only that's RAD26 and here we use RAD5 in second dose by this method there is enhanced immune response against the gene of interest when translated and we also have the better efficacy because our immune system launches response towards the S protein only not towards the vector and its components what we saw in homologs prime boost so we see Sputnik 5 vaccine devises better mechanism by heterologs prime boost vaccination and by this way we get targeted immune response towards the S protein of SARS-CoV-2 more efficiently so this is why Sputnik 5 vaccine has better efficacy than other viral vector type vaccines. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.